This is Twit. Tell us the story. You got a, 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 f a strange email from Google last week. Yeah, so they, they sent me a note and they said, we can't tell you what's going on, just sign. And I was like, <laughs> well, and I, I knew it was Google X, so it's got to be cool. And they've only announced two Google X projects, you know, the, the self-driving cars and the, uh, and the glasses. So this uh, must have been cool. And, uh, and it was this Project Loon. And it was this uh, audacious, ambitious idea to surround the world with internet balloons. And they wanted me to come along and, and take some photos and, and just kind of see what was going on. It happened to be here in my backyard. That's totally coincidental. So I, I jumped in a car with my family and drove a few hours north from Queenstown up here to the Christchurch area and joined the team and started taking photos. It was a blast. So are these, first of all, they're, they're in the stratosphere. Yeah, so they're twice as high as commercial airlines, and there's basically nothing up there. Uh, there's no more weather, uh, so they get solar power cleanly. And the big breakthrough about these balloons is that they can move up and down at various levels through the stratosphere. And as they move up and down, they can catch different air currents, so they can sort of keep this grid or matrix-like mesh, um, sort of Cartesian plane. They're not. They they're not going around the world. They're not t attached by a ten-mile string to the Earth. No, they've got a they've got a valve on the bottom. It's actually a two-chamber balloon, and the top chamber is filled with helium. Okay. The bottom one is filled with regular air, and by pumping air in and out of the bottom chamber, they can move them up and down, changing and the density of the. Of the helium a little bit, but well, that's I think that's the kind of stays the same. But they they change the weight of the balloon by ah. pumping more uh, air into the lower chamber. Ah, I get it. Yeah. So that's something you can keep doing, kind of, for at least until the balloon wears out. Yeah. So that's the big goal: is to uh, not uh, fill up the uh, 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 balloon too much so that it pops or that it gets <laughs> yes, these holes in it. Uh, you know, they're, they're really trying to figure out a way to keep the balloons up there for a long time. Yeah, but they sure. have had balloons uh, get up there and stay, uh, you know, for months and years. I mean, this is – ballooning is sort of an old science. It's a, tough, it's a tough science. So they're trying to get their balloons to stay up as long as possible. 